Greetings everyone, today we are going to learn about loops in Python. Alright, let's see what topics we will cover in this video. While loop For loop And recursion Python has two primary loops, which are as follows. While loop And for loop Okay, let's talk about while loops first. A while loop statement in Python programming language repeatedly executes a target statement if a given condition is true. We generally use this loop when we don't know beforehand the number of times to iterate. The syntax of a while loop in Python programming language is given below. How does a while loop execute? Let us take an example. Password equals CyberSquare. This line sets the correct password as CyberSquare. Guess equals double quotes. This line initializes a variable guess to store the user's input, initially empty. While true. Starts an infinite loop that keeps running until explicitly stopped. Guess equals input. Of enter password, asks the user to enter a password and stores the input in the guess variable. If password equals equals guess, checks if the input password, guess, matches the correct password, cyber square. Print, login success. Displays, login success if the passwords match. Break. Ends the loop if the correct password is entered. Else, if the input password does not match the correct password, this block of code executes. Prints incorrect password try again this line is to notify the user of the incorrect attempt. Here, you can see the output. Python supports an else statement associated with a loop. If the else statement is used with a for loop or while loop, the else statement is executed when the loop has exhausted all the iterations. Else block will not get executed if it encounters a break statement inside the loop. Here. Loop that runs three times. During each iteration, it prints inside loop. Once the loop finishes executing, when counter becomes three, it prints inside else because the loop has completed all the iteration without break. All right, let's learn about for loop now. For loop is generally used when you know how many times you have to repeat a task. For loop to iterate over each item in the memory underscore list array. During each iteration, it prints the value of X, which represents each type of computer memory in the list, RAM, hard disk, virtual memory. As a result, this loop will print each memory type on a separate line. Before we use the for loop for a repetitive task, we should know the range function in Python. The range function in Python generates a sequence of numbers. By default, it starts from zero, increments by one, also by default, and stops at a specified number. In its basic form, it takes an integer n and iterates from zero to n minus one. The syntax of the range function is range, start, stop, step, Here, for loop combined with the range function to iterate over numbers from 0 to 5. During each iteration, the loop prints the current number using print x. When executed, this code will output the numbers 0 to 5 on separate lines. Here, for loop with range 2, 5 to iterate over numbers starting from 2 up to 5, but not including 5. During each iteration, the loop prints the current number x using print x. When executed, this code will output 2, 3, and 4, each on a separate line. For loop with range 2, 10, 2 to iterate over numbers from 2 up to 10, but not including 10 with a step size of 2. During each iteration, it prints the current number x using print x. When executed, this code will output 2, 4, 6, and 8, each on a separate line.
All right, recursion is next one. In recursion, a function calls itself one or more times in its body. Usually, it returns the value of this function call and there should be an exit condition for ending the loop. If a function definition fulfills the condition of recursion, we call this function a recursive function. Here, this code defines a recursive function factorial that computes the factorial of a positive integer n. It multiplies n with factorial, n the minus 1, until reaching the base case, n equals equals 1, where it returns 1. Thank you.